don't go behind money go for better projects better experience at the start of the career so that you know once you gain good solid experience you can negotiate and get good packages later on in your careers Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Career Success Guide CSG. This is Jaya, I'm a career coach and today we are going to interview Achu Raj. Achu is a civil engineer and a certified project management professional. He has over 15 years of experience in construction. He has been a significant part of delivering some landmark real estate projects across India and abroad. Let's ask him a few questions, get to know him a little bit more. Achu, welcome to the show. Hello, Jaya. Thank, thank you so much for having me on your wonderful show. It's more like a meeting and talking uh, with an old friend after a long time. Uh, but one thing I should tell you, Jaya, uh, you're doing a wonderful job. And, oh. you know, I think that's why your show is, uh, you know, a great hit within such a short time. Thank you so, so much. Uh, once, again, once again, thank you so much for uh, inviting me here on the show. Yeah, I have made a lot of questions for you. I want to get to know a little bit about your educational background and professional yeah. background. So let me yeah. start with asking, like, when was the first time you decided to become a civil engineer and what motivated you to get into, you know, civil engineering? <laughs> All right, that's a, that's a, you know, story um, back somewhere around you know, uh, 16 years or so. Uh, they as you know, I'm a second generation civil engineer, right? My father uh, worked in the industry for close to 40 long years. And I would say he is, uh, when I started my career, and I can probably say, even now he is my inspiration. And I think it will remain like that forever. He is my motivation. So, uh, you know, uh, he had a very, very humble start as a junior engineer. And, and you know, the, the proudest thing is that he retired as a head of the construction department, the same company after close to 40 years. So I have seen him achieving so many, so many great things and creating everlasting impressions uh, in his career. Uh, so I, I, honestly speaking, I never had any other career thoughts ever in my life, uh, or I never imagined any other career uh, uh, choices other than being a civil engineer. Uh, the, the, kind of, uh, the, the kind of passionate way he explains his projects and the kind of career he had in itself, was a great inspiration for me. Uh, thing is that when I uh, get along with this industry, actually, I realized what he said was absolutely true. There are uh, here and there some hiccups, but uh, overall the journey is quite good. It, it actually gives me a true sense of satisfaction to develop something, you know, out of, uh, from the scratch, uh, you know, excavating from the mother earth and turning it into a huge construction development with a, uh, you know, tiny signature of you on it. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, that's a true feeling. You know, that's a that's a pressure actually. So uh, when you get appreciation from you know, people around you, uh, you know, your superiors and all that. So that's that's truly an icing on the cake. So uh, you remember when uh, team uh, we team TCS we uh, we uh, completed our job and you know we got uh, clients appreciation and all that. Yeah, that was simply heaven for us. And th those are the kind of things. Those are the kind of words which uh, keeps the ball rolling for me. And it was a great team too. And you know, working with such an amazing Indeed. team, that itself is, you know, it's the best Indeed. thing that anyone Indeed. can enjoy. I, I, honestly speaking, I never had that kind of a team. So I am leading a project now. I'm I'm leading a leading projects for quite uh, quite some time now. So but still I never had, you know, never had such a team where every every one of them was every one of us like perfectly matching into that. It's a dream that, team. That, it is a great team. <laughs> yeah, awesome. You have completed your master's from University of Leeds in the UK. What was your yeah. experience as international student? Oh, oh. And another thing which is dating back to 10 years, 10, 12 years. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, that, was, that was indeed a fascinating experience. Yeah. New world, new culture, uh, new friends from across the globe, new learning environment and, you know, uh, their innovative methods, uh, everything was new here and everything was new there actually. Uh, um, the learning process was more uh, focused on the practical side, you know, where uh, you get to study and work with real life problems, which are, you know, existing that time. You know, when we were studying, you know, that was the kind of uh, uh, study uh, subjects we get. And um, I think that, that remains the same even now. So. Uh, you know, most of the processes are associated with uh, construction companies, you know, there and 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 so 
uh, chances are there when presented such a real problem to you your out of the out of the box thinking concept as a solution could really be implemented in one of the uh, uh, global iconic projects uh, you know which we never came across that kind of a scenario in india because in india we have a syllabus to study with we have we have we have a structure of syllabus to go through but there the situation is not that you know it's totally different you get to deal with real practical problems at site you know uh i still remember you know we have we were given uh, problems uh, related to wembley stadium you know you might have heard about wembley stadium yeah. which is like an iconic stadium in england so uh, which was under reconstruction that time you know and and we were given problems uh, you know procurement problems with that and all that so that was really that was really huge you know you 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 are feeling that you know we are really working at site you know giving solutions to all that that was some experience i would say on a funny side i have i have another another uh, uh, you know funny experience which which is which is never going out of my mind actually you know um you know we have this uh, we have this habit of calling our teachers uh, our teaching staff sir and ma'am right yeah so uh, you know there was a proposal called uh, steven mail so um, he told the class actually several times we indians uh, uh, you know pakistan used to call him sir all the time so uh, you know he told several times not to call him sir mm-hmm. uh, you know just just call him just just call him mr mail or mrs steven mail that's what or or even steven even she was fine for him so uh, which is which is considered as a big sin of insulting a guru in indian culture isn't it yeah. so um, <laughs> even after he said that for a few times uh, during our earlier days while asking a doubt once i called him sir mm-hmm. uh, actually i i immediately i immediately was like oh, i made a mistake uh, then i i was like i i think it might have got him irritated but uh, he handled the situation absolutely wonderfully by cracking a joke actually uh then he said he wasn't knighted yet you know uh, uh, queen knight uh, yeah. knight knighthood he was in knighthood yet and if he gets a knighthood he would let me know so that i can call him sir oh that's funny that was, uh, yeah that was really funny actually then then uh, then he when i later i uh, he accepted my request to be my guide for dissertation and you know those are the kind of relationships you know people don't keep that grudge and they you know you go together to the uh, you know restaurants if you, if you if you are comfortable with them that kind of a relationship is absolutely wonderful i'm not belittling anybody or saying like uh, here teachers are not good here teachers are you know like as i said it's a totally different guru kind of a culture but there it's totally different you know i yeah. found those things in that very touchy yeah. yeah i get it uh, would you recommend university of leeds to other international students uh, Yes, of course. Yeah, University of Leeds is one of the uh, top-notch university when it comes to construction management course. Mm-hmm. I would definitely recommend. But uh, those who want to, uh, you know, uh, study and work there, you know, after after your study, if you want to work and all that, uh, you have to be clear about the other situations as well. To be very very honest with you, I wanted to study and work after the study. After the study, I wanted to work there, but uh, you know, 2008 situation, it was uh, recession time, and I couldn't do that. Oh. So uh, you know, so I had to go to Egypt after uh, my uh, studies in UK. So uh, I would recommend definitely, but you have to look at look at the situation around you and then make a decision. Yeah, I think probably that gave you a lot more international experience. You will visit Egypt, so that's good thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you got your PNP certification. What is PNP certification, and did that help you in your career? uh it did yeah, yeah big time i would say actually pmp uh, stands for a project management professional it is a certification issued by uh, an american institute called pmi uh, project management institute the certification basically requires extensive study and understand the 10 core knowledge areas across different phases of the project and uh, in every 4 to 5 years they uh, slightly uh, uh, modify the curriculum uh, you know that is that is basically about uh, pmp certification it really helped me in comprehending a project or i would say you know seeing a project in a very systematic manner earlier i was like attend those things those things which uh, which comes to comes in your way uh, with a with a vision for uh, for the things which is happening tomorrow that's all that's all the project was all about for me but now i look at the project in a very different way i see it in a holistic way the business aspect of the project uh, the outcome required from the project and you know 
then when i started attending things from a different angle uh, uh, because of this pmp you know it, it it helped me a lot i would definitely urge all the aspiring project managers project managers of tomorrow to do pmp certification uh, indeed actually uh, and i'm sure uh, you know their view about managing the project will change 100% There's no yeah, doubt that. that's good to know. In the past decade, you have made a lot of progress. You have really made an impact in your industry. So, how did that happen? What did you do? <laughs> you really think so? <laughs> yes, I do. You have I your really own business, so. and you're working, and you know, you moved cities. So, those are all amazing things. Uh, yeah, I'm very. Uh, yeah, seriously speaking, I, I'm very happy to you know uh, hear that from my good old friend who knows my you know my journey. Um, I really, honestly speaking, I really don't think, uh, or I don't, really don't know whether I've made an impact yet with the kind of vision I have. But yes, I have got the opportunity to work in several iconic projects, I would say, and deliver certain things uh, which were above and beyond my responsibility. Uh, and I'm glad my company is recognizing the efforts. Actually, um, moreover. Uh, Uh, the the progress which i see you know uh, uh, the impact which i uh, according to me is giving back something to the society that is what i call as an i call as an impact um for which i am uh, what i'm doing is out of the work kind of a thing where i'm mentoring eight people on their way to project management uh, uh, professional certification pmp certification um still i don't consider all this as impact and i have you're being a humble you know <laughs> not, not really not really yeah uh, seriously speaking i i do want to uh, do lot more than that uh, to call to, to think myself uh, uh, you know creating an impact or something like that but uh, my responsibility as a vol- as a volunteer is what i think is to support a uh, fellow human being who is trying to achieve something in their life that's all that's all what i'm doing trying to do now nothing else yeah that's very uh, noble thing to do so can you tell me more about the current job that you're doing your roles and responsibilities uh yeah sure yeah i can say i mean say i'm i'm 16 years young in this industry actually uh <laughs> and currently working as an agm assistant general manager in the, the world's largest real estate company called cbri and i'm proud to uh, be part of the company actually the, the work culture kind of professionalism what the, the people show are all out of the world i would say it's it's really amazing to uh, to work in such, such a company you can you can even get in touch with your uh, chairman uh, i am presently associated uh, uh, with a commercial project where i am working as a project lead the project is uh, close to 1.7 million square feet uh, it is pretty huge uh, uh, the uh, now the project which both of us were associated the, that it is it is much more than that i would say it is more than that project uh, in this project we have the complete project management scope from start to uh, start of the project to the to the you know to handing over of it uh, we are already 2 years in the project and we are expecting to complete this project by uh, september 2022 so that is all about the project uh, which i am associated with i don't have the liberty to say the project name and all yeah that. that's okay yeah it's don't worry about that right? yeah okay so what do you think are the most relevant skills for any civil engineer and project management professionals to be you know to be in your industry again be it of it yeah i seriously don't think there is nothing in particular uh, to develop a skill uh, for a, for that is required for civil or or as a project management professional you don't you don't need any particular skill but you know there are several traits i would say that are very very simple that makes you stand out of the you know in most of the industries i would say mm-hmm. to name a few you know uh, professionalism ethics at work uh, honesty you know honesty stands out everywhere yeah, because most of the people are not so you know you have to you, you know that is something which is very of course <laughs> of course <laughs> and and there is one thing i would say uh, where you know common sense uh, which mm-hmm. is not so common these days is one of the most relevant skills to stand in this industry or any industry for the matter um similarly i uh, similarly i just just you know just uh, not really beating on bush but just uh, saying a couple of things Uh, the ability to assess the situation, actually mm-hmm. speaking, uh, the way of handling it, uh, uh, it how it it matters in the construction industry or in a construction project, you know, you will come across a lot of different kinds of issues on a day to day basis. You know, the way you handle it does matter. 
uh, how much you how much ever you do or you you study or you do project management from different universities it is your experience of handling such situations or similar similar things you know which you handle on a day to day to day basis would come handy for you um, yeah i think it's like a proactive approach and crisis management exactly exactly the proactive is a big word actually uh, so that is why uh, uh, they say a construction a professional a construction management portion would give should give equal weightage to the education or um, when, uh, from which he or she studies and to the experience you know that is equally important uh, several people ask me this question actually you know, like what what did you learn from you know what did you learn, learn from a foreign university and all that it's just a different way of approaching things that nothing else you know uh, uh, similarly in a construction industry you know uh, there will be lots and lots of stakeholders directly and indirect stakeholders you know so you uh, the ability of handle uh, ability to handle different stakeholders is a So it's a it's a really a, a gift kind of thing. I have seen people handling it quite brilliantly. So uh, you know, I am trying to learn that trait. Uh, it's all also. about interpersonal skills and people skills, and you know, where you get along with other people. I would say that's very important, especially HR, when you have you know contractors, HR. subcontractors, consultants, you know, and the client, and you know, all those people coming together for something Absolutely. big. <laughs> Absolutely, and this is the difference between an HR speaking and a civil engineer. And a civil engineer speaking, you are using the right words, and I am, you know, I am thinking about those words which you are doing. <laughs> But I, I think we are on the same page, right? <laughs> we are, we are. Actually, that is that is exactly what it takes. You know, uh, you uh, as a, as a project management, as a leader, uh, you really have to have that interpersonal skills uh, to handle things and as well as handle people. That is that is, you know. something you require to be a, a successful leader i would say yeah yeah that's amazing thank you so much um so what would be your advice to the young force who aspires to make it big in your industry i am not old <laughs> you're a pro you've been here like 10 15 years so you know you can advise like that's you know i've seen yeah. like young graduates or somebody that's just for any reason i'm just I'm engineering i know the all the this is wide now so i can... <laughs> so uh, um I, i don't have a lot of things to say but um i would say one thing here yeah, which uh, which is which 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 is a simple thing most of the people know but but when situation comes you know people tend to forget this so that is that is one thing i would i'd like to highlight here um for every young folks who are starting their career or things like that don't go behind the packages don't go behind money go be go for better projects better experience at the start of the career so that you know once you gain good solid experience you can negotiate and get good packages later on in your career so that is one thing which which really really i would i would urge all the young guys all the budding people to you know to to uh, follow uh, you know instead of going for uh, uh, good money just stick around uh, and sticking around a very sick toxic working environment it is always better uh, uh, you know you give good preference to a good manager who who can who can uh, uh, a person like tamodaran sir i would say yeah uh, yeah Oh, who can who can who can provide you with the, you know who can show you the path okay this is the path for you you know like that i still most of the tcs people still believe you know he has one i he has one of the gurus you know though we not really not not get not not in lot of touch but we really we really consider him as a person so i we are all trying to follow a person like that so my advice or a or a request to the young uh, budding people who are starting their career is yes go for a good manager go for a good working environment where they can learn something you know yeah it's all about the learning exactly yeah. uh, sometimes even with small projects if you have a small team and you're responsible to doing a lot of task and completing task you get that exposure so i think that yes. you know at the early stages of their career they should get that yes. learning so that they can do bigger yes. things in life absolutely you know the project management is something or the management in general is something where you know you can say uh that that i i would say that english english saying you no know, jack of all trades are the master of none i i would agree with that actually when it comes to project management because you have to be a jack of a lot of things you know you need not be a master of anything but you have to be a master of jack of all a lot of things actually then only you can be called as a good project manager uh, to be honest yeah so that is something which you have to concentrate as a young guy yeah that's that's great um so what is the best way to get hired in the in your industry what is the best way to find job um 
for a fresher i think uh, campus interviews are the best thing or if you are not getting campus interviews you have to apply 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 on different job portals and 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 you can take references a, a lot uh, i would say uh, for a person with some experience job portal is the only option uh, because referrals i don't think referrals okay referrals also play a small role but job portals are the best thing but for a middle management person mostly reference and uh, i would say uh, less through job portal because uh, by the time he would have made lot of uh, connections and good connections and uh, through which he can he can get some i would say good good jobs you know good connections and through which he can get some job that is that is what i believe but for senior people it's only reference 99 percent reference Yeah. they will not get a job through job portal it's very very difficult for a, for a senior person so that is that is a way i think That's you know well, that reminds me of something a lot of civil engineering students they would apply for like bpo jobs or you know they apply for like it jobs i've seen that trend in a quite some time you know they go for these big companies it companies and they get retrained and you know they forget about civil engineering it, it happens yeah in in my uh, um college days you know uh, i have studied i have studied in a college called toronto engineering college it's ct mm-hmm. you know, believe it is government college you know where uh, um, we had somewhere around uh, 130 percentage of campus interviews you know 130 percent jobs uh, normally uh, come every year in that in that college so 90 percent of the uh, of the applicants or the students would go for it job only the uh, civil engineers mechanical uh, industrial uh, you know doesn't maybe, matter which branch you are coming from doesn't matter doesn't matter uh, uh, electronics and electronics guys also mm-hmm. gone wrong to the uh, uh, it industry because it's easy uh, basically for them you know yeah uh, i'm not saying the career is easy but to get into a um in it company through canvas interview is pretty much easier than a, a person who comes out and look for a job so that is that does make a difference that's yeah. why what other career prospects do they have like apart from going into it <laughs> yeah uh just yeah, civil engineering as you know uh is is one of the vastest subject in the entire engineering world i would say um mm-hmm. you, you you might be knowing uh, dr v sridharan who is one yeah. of the most under project managers in the modern india uh, seen so far mm-hmm. and i don't know whether you heard this name called mr murali tumarudi he is he is a global name he is a, he is in he sits in uh, geneva he works with un that itself can say he is a civil engineer actually the, the prospects are quite huge but uh, people are not really looking into it you know they find easy ways that is a that's the biggest thing you know civil engineer do structural design of a dam or a bridge uh, the ies you must be know indian engineering service the ies for the national level national level administrative side of uh, handling remarkable projects you know that is ies for you to the business development side we can get into the business development projects of civil engineering the side of civil engineering as well but uh, people you know doesn't doesn't follow that it, it is not their mistake because uh, uh, the other other industries give more uh, money and more uh, uh, life options in front of them uh, mm-hmm. than the civil engineers civil engineers are always you know uh, we are we are into the dust into the uh, in a real world which is which is you know which most people doesn't prefer it's it's not anybody's mistake actually speaking but Uh, civil engineers, in fact, have a lot, lot of options to select from. The options uh, yeah. and the prospect for civil engineers are quite. You can do your, also do your own business and you know build houses. Absolutely. I think that's amazing. Yeah. That that is seriously speaking. I have three friends who started the uh, uh, like three four three four years into the career and they started their own business and they are doing wonderful in their in their careers now. They are they are one of the biggest names in Trivandrum now. Like that, uh, so the, the options are quite huge. you know uh, speaking of which and i remember speaking to a few uh, uh, young very very uh, young uh, civil engineers uh, lately i realized that they are, they haven't even heard about ies you know indian indian engineering service you know uh, so that give give me a that literally gave me a shock actually they are not aware of something called ies they know ia ias ips ifs irs but their own subject ies they are not aware so i think you know uh, uh, proper guidance also is very much required you know people in the industry be called to the called to the college and all that to give uh, some kind of a guidance and that's why we are doing this exactly exactly that is a point they, they, they should know what are the things in front of them instead of going uh, just blindly going to it so there are people who are interested in it also let them go not saying you know that is a beautiful uh, stream of engineering as well but 
civil engineers should come more into civil engineering that is what my humble thought nothing else yeah. i i know that you have mentored quite a few people and you know are you still open to take more mentees and if they are if they want to contact you what is the best way they can reach out to you um they can reach me through email uh, whatsapp calls you know my uh, um, calls i would not prefer much but uh, <laughs> okay emails and whatsapp definitely but if on uh, if there is an urgent basis other uh, thing uh, where you have to you know your exam is tomorrow or or you have you need some immediate uh, solution for something yes calls also um i can give you my email ready not a problem or uh, uh, sure. only thing is that my turnaround time that is 24 hours that's all <laughs> you know i might be in something here so then i'll i'll, I'll get back that's all nothing else yeah uh, my Yeah I'll yeah, put that email, email address in the description then you know if somebody watching this video on some good guidance they can Very always good. you know connect with Very you good. or and also you're active on LinkedIn so you know probably yes, they can I connect am. you with you Yeah yes I am. yeah yeah Yeah, I'm, awesome. I'm very happy to help help with knowledge. Yeah, I know that you're very uh, yeah. giving person. <laughs> even even if I don't know, I'll I'll get uh, get back after discussing with uh, legendary characters. So it's okay, I can help them away. It's possible. Yeah, for sure. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, you have spent a lot of time preparing for this and coming and you know be part of my chat show. I am so thankful to you, and I wish you a great uh, future. So, uh thanks a lot there once again for inviting me here you know it's 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 more i hadn't felt it like a, a chat show or something it's something like a, a you know coffee a kind of a discussion is what i felt it's it's amazing to discuss with you to talk to you after a long 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 time it's been i think it's been not or uh, close to 10 years so it, it i felt time flies I, eh <laughs> indeed so i i'm really really thankful to you yeah you are doing wonderful jay so keep up this Thank this you. work actually uh if if because of your chat show if someone is getting benefited that's an amazing thing you get to. that is the impact i'm talking about actually uh, the impact which i am thinking you are doing oh thank you oh it means thanks a lot so, to me so. you made my day <laughs> no i mean this seriously speaking yeah you know thanks thanks so much for you know making a part of your chat show if you liked this content please hit a thumbs up button also comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching have a great day bye bye